This right here is remnants of Fazoli's. I already ate the chicken Alfredo and the lasagna in the back in a previous video. Today we are doing the spaghetti and meatballs. Now let's get right to it. When I say spaghetti and meatballs, I, literally they gave me like one meatball. Like that's not spaghetti and meatballs. That's spaghetti and meatball, okay? Like, uh, I know it is a part of a sampler, though, so they give you, like, less. But, yeah, those, um, the noodles are pretty good. I already had some from the chicken parmesan, but let's try them again. Yeah, they're pretty solid, and I kind of like the marinara sauce that Fazoli's has, so I give that a solid 6 out of 10. Now, how is their meatball? Meatball, meatball, spaghetti over meat. Ravioli, ravioli. Okay. Ugh. Yeah, that's kind of funky. I don't really like that too much. Believe it or not, I'm actually learning how to cook. And so I actually know how to make homemade meatballs. These meatballs suck, okay? Like, they're, they're kind of funky. They taste weird. No. Howard, they don't taste as weird as the chicken from the chicken parmesan. Why does the meat from Fazoli's taste weird? So I give this a 1.5 out of 10. This meatball sucks, but the noodles are pretty good. So overall, spaghetti and meatballs from Fazoli's, they're kind of questionable, but you know, whatever. If you're hungry, there you go. I got mine as a part of a sampler. The sampler was $9. You get Alfredo and you also get lasagna. The Alfredo was pretty good. The lasagna was a lot better so yeah these spaghetti and meatballs are you know they're meh but you know the sampler is pretty cheap overall nine bucks you get a pretty good amount of food so yeah Fazoli's is pretty all right in all thank you guys so much for watching as always Luke Foods out Bye bye